Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I am the two-time, two-time, the Box of the World winning the boxing. I am the one-time, one-time, the Box of the World winning Atlantic Chef, David Leahy. And welcome to our second annual birth, Christmas dinner for Disco and his mom. Yep, so we're back at it again. Uh, so, I know David here, he likes to... What, he generally likes to do like a big pot of something like chili or drama lies and he'll portion it out and give that to his friends. I live a long way from my job, so I so like everything that I do, like family, friends, um, grocery shopping, laundry, everything I do, it basically has to be done my days off. So I said to him, Okay, as much as I like as much as I like things, yeah. it would be a lot more practical and a lot more appreciated if we just like if you would be willing to make my Christmas dinner, I would stick. I could stick it in the freezer and then bring, take it to my mom's place on Christmas. And that way, it's like I'm not having to make a whole bunch of stops on the way home on the 23rd and the 22nd and yeah. the 24th. And saves me a lot of time and a lot of stress to just get to sleep. Absolutely, you got a virtual cook. Cook go do this. Also, um, you're, you're gonna, you guys are gonna be the envy of everyone in that in that um, dining room on Christmas Day. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, so my mom lives in the assisted living, and basically it's one of those things like where there's a cafeteria there. The places like that tend to not exactly exactly have like the best food available because you know you you still want to try to make some sort of money. Yeah. So of course, as much as it sucks, you uh, try to uh, you try to play devil's advocate a little bit and be like, okay, they do have they do have a budget. They did cat like throw a million dollars if they yeah, uh, I know it sucks. If they're, if they're not getting a million dollars. Yeah, yeah, but we're gonna do something really good today. We got lemon thyme chicken. Yeah. We're gonna do um we're gonna do some um some uh, confit garlic uh, mac potatoes. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do uh, some vegetable medley with onion peppers and then California mix. We're gonna do maple glazed carrots. Stuffing, gravy, the whole shebang. Plus for dessert, ooh, I'm looking at what dessert. We're doing a minty, I mean very minty chocolate brownie with a with a chocolate mint buttercream. Someone's gonna die with yep. that dessert. So let's get started. We are murdering diabetics, people. Yes, we are. Right, first thing first, let's get all the potatoes first. I mean, I can't already boil them at the same time. Just gonna smash the hell out of them. Don't look too bad right now. They did the mash. They did the potato mash. Potato mash. They caught on the flash. I'm gonna add some. I'm gonna add some uh, milk to help it out. I think we're gonna milk it for all it's worth. Yep, I, I have to. That's my job. If we do that, we'll get the gravy started. Keep an eye on that. A little bit of milk, not too much milk. To help mash it up a little bit more. That's better. Now it's mashing up. Smashy, smashy. Do the monster mash. Oh. I don't know. Head out, no head out, right now. Not gonna see in the head of my head now. God damn it, Disco. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Bah humbug. <laughs> I say bah humbug. We're also gonna add some else, something else to the potatoes. Who? Uh, question for you. Yo. Christmas Carol. Uh, George C. Scott or Alistair Sim? Alistair Sim. My my dad was a big fan of the Alistair Sim one, and I'm a fan of it too. My old man was a fan of the old Alistair Sim one. How about um, Christmas Carol? Um, uh, Joshy Scott or uh, Scrooge or, Marcus, or the Muppet Christmas Carol? Um, I actually don't remember watching the, the Muppet one yet, so... Oh, I love the Muppet one. We're Molly and Marley. Whoa. We're Molly and Marley. Whoa. Stadler and Waldorf as, as the... As the brothers. And Marley and Jacob and Robert Marley. Love it. Here you go, look at that. It's not the greatest but here in the world, we know it'll do. Okay, so we now got our gravy. 
We've thrown on our chicken here. What we do now, I'm going to turn this on in the back. Our uh, the carrots. Let's grab our chicken. Very high heat. So we're going to give it a marijuana joint? Yep. Because it's high heat. Let's get stoned. Can they get stoned and get bait? Literally bait. I'm high as a motherfucker. <laughs> there we go, we get totally bait. That's a good kind of bait. I know robot chicken. Yep. I know that one. Oh, one of my favorite uh, robot chicken sketches is the uh, Final Fantasy VII one where uh, Cloud works for Sephiroth at the burger joint. I, I love the uh, body trilogy, one where he goes, go, he um, is in therapy, goes to a hooker, and he goes into prison. And then the, uh, the guy turns out at the end, like, he's like, damn right, bitch. Yeah, oh yeah, I know that one. I love that one. Also, um, love, um, there's a favorite one uh, that's not really possible, called Insensitive Dad, where, um, they're, they're, they're um, burying a fish in the toilet. The dad's like, all right, everybody out, dad, dad's gonna drop a whole fudge cake. And the kid starts crying. All right, everybody out, dad's gonna drop a whole fudge cake. Like, <laughs> kid starts crying. Love that one, that's one of my favorite ones. I also love, oh, there's so many good ones. I don't know which one's my favorite, probably the, Oh, and there's also one where uh, hell freezes over and it turns out the kid got laid. Oh yeah, that'll be, that'll be you. Yeah, that'll definitely be you. When, when that happens, that'll be, definitely be you. When hell freezes over. So do away from... When you're doing any kind of meat, make sure you point it away, away from you, always. You'll burn yourself. Don't be a dumbass like I am. Now we gotta get this brown. Okay, so we're gonna get this, we're gonna get our stuffing in. There we go. A little lemon to that chicken. A little, a little different dimension to the party. Don't worry about the seeds. If you have seeds in there, you're not going to kill you, right? I don't know. You're get, leaving me a seed of doubt. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. Somebody please kill me now. Please. God, if you're there, please kill me now. But we need more time. Oh, like time? Jesus. Every time I do this joke, I get die inside a little bit. I do a little vegetable medley here. In this pan, we're gonna have hot oil. Got onions, peppers. Okay, we need a bigger pan. Shit. Oh. Duh. So in here is also we got um chicken broth and uh, car baby carrots. Salt. Pepper. Toss, toss, toss.
If you guys like videos, I recommend um, I've been posting them, but I recommend watching the um, the Nightmare for Christmas, the Nightmare for Christmas video, and also me doing the. Uh, also, I recommend watch the um, Christian Sam McGee video. Those are two of my two of our, my favorites. Christian Sam McGee video is one of my favorite videos we've done easily. Go. Nope. It's gonna cheat. We just uh, we just kind of cheated. We um, covered it. That kind of steam on its own. Kind of cheated here a little bit. In some ways, we did kind of cook itself, right? I'm gonna add some uh, that orange gar ginger to it. You don't mind that? It's not that spicy. Hmm. You mind? Not a problem. Hey, it tastes good, right? I mean, just a little bit, right? Part cooked. Add maple syrup. Stabby, stabby. Let that just happily simmer away in the back. When it reduces down to like, uh, you want like a syrup. That's how you know they're done. Maybe a little overcooked, not gonna kill you, right? It looks something different to the party than uh, regular vegetables, right? They're all not ready yet. Help it out, one more thing help it out. A big fucking whopping hand of garlic butter. Because nothing is better than van garlic butter. This is my the garlic butter I make it, I've made before. So if you want the video, check it out. It's there. It's there, kitties. Five, four, three, two, one. Thunderbirds are go. <laughs> there you go. Mm. Thunderbirds are go. Five, four, three. Two, one. Thunderbirds are go. I have a really good idea here. I want to do it. Where? Shit. And our gravy. Mm -hmm. Ow! Fucking hell, I should have better. Add that to the, the, the. I got lemon, got a lemon thyme chicken gravy now. How'd that sound? Hmm. Like you do with the, like you do with drippings with the turkey drippings. Mm -hmm. Same kind of concept, right? We ain't over yet, right? Right, Disco? Nope. No, hell no. We for, you guys oh, forgot about one thing you guys forgot about. The brownies. Yes. Are you trying to earn brownie points? Always. Hell yeah, always earn brownie points here. Hey, just please don't be a brownie noser. Ah! So, brownie mix. Quarter cup of water. Walk it over slowly. Quarter cup of oil. Oil be back. Oil be back. Yes. And one egg. We need one egg. Supposedly he bought a dozen. We don't need one. It's not like he's selling individually, you know. Yeah, I know. I'm just giving him a hard time because I can. If you're gonna crack an egg, crack on a flat surface. 
I prefer to crack jokes. Yeah. Mix that up. You wanna we're not we're gonna, we're using Barney mix because it's cheaper that than having to make it from scratch. And also time consuming, right? So not gonna kill kill us, right? So I'm gonna I'm mixing it. Okay, I got one more thing. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yes. Mint chocolate chip. I am a mentaholic. I am a proud mentaholic. Oh, and I did I did I mention what's gonna go on top of everything when it's all done? Have I forgotten to mention that yet? Have I? No. Oh. Where are my manners? When I'm done mixing this, I'll let I'll show you guys what's gonna go on top of everything. Once you done the brown, once the brownie's done, and once the uh, the brownie's on fire, uh, the your manners are um, right now with the woman manners. <sighs> he got a book of uh, dad jokes for Christmas from us, from me and my wife. So now he's just cracking all these bad jokes now. More and yet, fuel. And yet my jokes are all mine. How, how much we at? All of it? Fuck it. You know what? Fuck it. Let's let them all. Why the fuck not? Most chocolate bro mint chocolate brownie. I want this minty as all hell. You know what? Fuck it. Let's go at them all. You go in. 38 minutes. We'll be right back. All right, we're back, and now it's time for the cream. Kind of finish this off. We are gonna do our buttercream. So, come on over, folks. In my mixer here, we got butter. We are gonna whip the living shit out of it. Ice and sugar. We got a couple ice sugar. Booger sugar, we want to call it booger, it looks like you can call it booger sugar, it's going to be really fancy. Booger sugar! Right? Hmm. Booger sugar, don't do it. Right? Yeah. Mmm, booger sugar. Om nom 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 nom. Om nom nom. Right? Woo! I'm just going to add... Where's the line at? Where's the line? <laughs> Where's the line for you? Yeah, I know, eh? No shit. I'm not a Pepsi guy myself. Get Coke. Oh, God damn it. Making really bad jokes now. Add a little milk to that. You all get it? I got to add something to the chocolate. A little dabble do ya. Little mint extract. The lot mint extract. It's very mint um, Keep it secret this shit. For another minute. Rip the shit out of that.
Add our chocolate. Into our buttercream. Mix a son of a bitch. Ready? Actually, it's pretty good. Down a second. Make sure you always make sure you scrape all your edges down. Some other in culinary school. Basic cooking basic pastry 101. Also pastry is an exact science, so Minty enough or not? Yeah, that's not that's good, right? Don't want to overkill the mintiness, but still pretty good. Here, take a taste. Oh! Oh, that's not bad. Not bad, eh? Yep. Not bad. Like the right amount of mintiness, like not overpowering, but you can taste it. Could be beautiful on the top of that brownie when it's done. I'm just gonna give it a quick mix. Either way, it'll be good to go. So here we go. I'm gonna do something like this with um, Oreo crumbs um, for um, for someone for for Christmas for dessert. As a, a Christmas gift, hmm. I'm not gonna say who it is, but they're gonna get they're gonna get the same kind of recipe, but with oil crumbs and the buttercream. Now, one more minute, I'll try to do one more thing. Smashy, 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 smashy. You gonna go on top? So are we going to bake that on top of it or? No, we're going to go on top of the, uh, on top of the buttercream. Ah. So it gives it that green, you get that green tint from the uh, inside of the bar. See? That's what I want. <sighs> Days mint, they call these days minty as shit brownies. <laughs> I mean, good, with, good to call them, right? Yeah. Days minty as shit brownies. That actually would be a good name actually for a product. Minty as fuck or something. Minty as shit or something. I don't know. It's an idea. I might have to work on that. There you go. So now I got pieces of um, chocolate. I'll soak it out as well. Pieces of after eight. That would be perfect. You can just smash them in little pieces. <laughs> so, like, I know that people mean it as a compliment when they say you're great, but they're actually underselling you. They, they should tell you you're Grill 11. Because Grill 11 is three, <laughs> is three better than great. Yep. Get it? Grill 11? Plus three. Ah! Uh, three is Grill 11? God damn it. There we go. Got a mix of 
That's right, mint and arrow bars. But on top, you're, you're, to, you're topping there. If you see bigger pieces, you can just break them in the, in the little ones. Yep. Nice little crumble mix on top there, kind of thing. Kind of a nice little crumble topping kind of thing. That's what I'm going for. Let's check our brownies. Check on the brownies. Um, num num. What do you want when we cook brownies? We want when it goes through, when it will go right through. Want it to be clean, and, clean and dry, clean dry. and dry. Not yet. They're close though. And back in the show. We'll be back in five. We'll be back in a few minutes to check on it again. Yeah. All right, folks. This is the last of it. Our brownies are now done. We tasted them. They taste amazing. They are minty as shit. So here we go, folks. Imagine this with the buttercream on top. Then our crumble, our mint crumble mix on top. Gonna be sick. So. Thank you guys for watching. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. And to everyone watching. Um, please like and follow this video. We appreciate any any all love you can give us. Uh, thank you. And uh, oh, Happy New Year. And until next time, I am the one time the Boston World Mayor this is Chef David Leahy. And I am the two-time, two-time, the box award winning the box hit. Like me on Facebook. Subscribe yep. to the channel. As I flip, uh, as I flip this one. So like me on Facebook. Subscribe to the channel. Yeah, right. uh, Instagram, TikTok. Yo, TikTok. I do TikTok. I do Instagram. I do all that stuff. And also check out the um, the Autistic Chef um, Facebook page, which is I have now. Which has been out for a while. It's. It's a free way for everyone to share their their, their views on food. Okay. I'm very proud of that. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Ba Humbug. So until next time, peace, guys. See you, we'll see you in 2024. Peace, boys and girls. Bye, everyone.